Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Solo Survival. This is episode 13 now, uh, and I'm just going to, oh an enchantment book, piercing for efficiency 4, get in. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to be fishing, like this entire episode. So I've just got efficiency 4 enchantment book, that's going to go on my diamond pickaxe I think. My, uh, you know the one I've got in my inventory uh, right now, that's going to go on that. Uh, but what I'm really trying to do by fishing is get to level 30 and get the mending enchantment book because I need three mending enchantment books so I'm fishing just in case I get you know a mending enchantment book and uh, I'm also fishing for the XP you get to get level 30 so that I can look on the enchantment table so I'm going to um, yeah, this episode's going to be fishing. Because what we're doing now, I think, is just everybody's preparing to fight the end. Uh, it's going to be in episode 20 that we fight the end of Dragon. I don't know when episode 20 will come out. But episode 20, we're going to fight the end of Dragon. So I've got seven episodes, including this one now. Uh, no, seven episodes after this one now, sorry. To uh, teach everybody... I mean, to get everybody, like, up to speed, everyone get diamond armor and stuff to fight the Ender Dragon. Another enchantment book. Unbreaking 3. It's not mending, but I can still put it on my armor. So, um, I'm going to close my window because my door is slamming about like crazy. So, yep. Alright. Just need to get as many of these enchantment books as we can. Round up all of them. I don't think... Uh, uh, I've got to be honest, I don't think Caitlyn's going to be able to fight the Ender Dragon with us. Because she's had about two hours on the world altogether. She's not got no, like, no iron or out. Um, so it might just be me, Keelan, Devon, Devon's cousin, and Dylan all fighting the Ender Dragon. So there'll still be five of us. And we're going to have a worldwide alliance. Everybody in an alliance. So four of us will be in a PlayStation party. Me, Devon, uh, Devon's cousin, and Keelan. We'll be in a PlayStation party, so you'll be able to hear all of us four talking in the video. But Dylan, because he's on Xbox, won't be able to talk. So, we'll just have to message him when we're ready. Um, but yeah, so look out for episode 20, because that's pretty much what we're all working towards now. We're just getting our stuff as badass and as strong as we can for fighting this Ender Dragon. And go into the end city, getting the elytra and all that other stuff. What I think there's going to be though, when we killed the ender dragon, <laughs> I reckon everybody's going to turn against each other uh, and try and claim the, the egg. I reckon that's what everyone's going to do. So, like the second the ender dragon dies, that's when I'm going to say alliance over, do what you want. When the Ender Dragon is killed. So, yeah. We're gonna have to be careful. And if anybody's wondering, uh, yes, I have been in an alliance with Keelan now for a while. Since episode 6, I've been in an alliance with Keelan. That alliance is ending once we've killed the Ender Dragon. Uh, we might have another alliance later on in the series. I'm not too sure yet. Um,. But, yeah. So, um, yeah, mine and Keelan. So, so, I know we've been in an alliance quite a while now, haven't we, Keelan? Yeah, for some reason it's disappeared again. But, yeah, uh, me and Keelan have been in an alliance for a while. So, it will be ending when the worldwide alliance ends. I 
I'm level 9. I want to try and get level 30. Maybe even 35. It's going to be a while, but hey, that's what fishing is, isn't it? Just leveling up. Keelan's found a zombie spawn. He said later today, he's not sure when, but he's going to build it today into a uh, XP farm. And then he'll send me the coordinates. So that'll be good. We'll have our own little XP farm going. Um, because I ain't got monkeys out to build one, you see. Otherwise, I would have done it with that spider spawner under my house. But yeah, so hopefully fishing will not be the only way to get XP for us. <coughs> I need to be careful of Dylan as well. He could completely like slay us out one day. He's got 20 diamonds and he's got, you know, he's got himself pickaxes and stuff. He's building the library. Um, you know, so we need to be very careful of him. I'm just going to see because you see I had to uh I had to like leave and restart the world because there was a glitch. Uh, where who the fuck's place this? Oh, it's just black wool. Somebody's placed in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, there was a glitch where, like, round about here, um, I couldn't see any of the blocks. What the fuck? I couldn't see no blocks. So it was really confusing. But I think it's fixed itself now. So yeah, that's good. Um right, back to fishing. Uh oh yeah, and uh, in case you guys are interested, I did add fire aspect 2 to my sword. So, that's good. Why are you fishing? My usual fishing pond. You know my outdoor one that I have? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Your indoor one, if I'm being honest. I don't really like. Yeah, I don't like it that much. I mean, I like the look of it. I just don't like the loot you get from it. I think it's pretty crap. Uh, but, yeah. So, hopefully I could get a few mending books from fishing here. If not, then... I'll just try and get them on the enchantment table. I wish there was an enchantment you could get that increases the XP you get from doing something. Because we could really do with an enchantment like that. But I don't think there is one. Tripwire hook. Wow. So I'm gonna need that. Water bottle. Wow. Salmon. Brilliant. We ought to do a fishing competition one day. Well, uh, we have like 10 minutes of straight up fishing, non-stop. Whoever has the most enchanted items by the end of the 10 minutes wins like a, I don't know, like a couple it's of diamond. diamonds or something. Mm -hmm. I've only got 35 diamonds, so... Yeah, I think I've only got about 50 summit. Nearly got a full stack. Mm. 
I'm getting tons of fish here. I want enchanted items, not fish. Come on, give me an enchantment book. Come on, game. An enchantment book, okay? I don't care if it's one I've already got or if it's one I, need, I desperately need. Just any enchantment book will do at this point. Oh, great, a card. Raw card, that is brilliant, thank you. Another thing I'm scared of is creepers because, like, they just sneak up on you. And you don't hear the sound, usually, until the last second before they blow up. So, it's just... I don't want to lose all my levels to a creeper. Oh, another enchanted book. Knockback 2. Brilliant. I just straight up jumped over his arrow then. Poor skeleton. Knockback 2 enchantment book. Wait, what does knockback go up to? Because I've already got knockback 2 on my sword. It's 4, I think. Oh, Five. right. I might put that on my sword, on my uh, sword then. Knockback 2 book. So then I'll have at least knockback 4 on my sword. Or at least knock back three, should I say. Yeah, it could be four. It might even be five. Might go up to five. But yeah. So I'm going to put that on my sword when I get high enough level two. But I'm not going to stop fishing until I'm at at least level 30. Wait, zombie villagers spawn in zombie spawners as well? I don't know. Not that I knew of they didn't, but you never know with Minecraft. Could do. Are you at the zombie spawner now then? Yeah. All oh, right. What are you doing? Are you making it the uh, XP farm? No, I'm just trying to get some XP. All oh, right. Right. Yeah, a good way to get XP to be fair is that blaze spawner in the nether. That is a really good XP place. You get lots of blaze rods as well if you've got a looting sword like I have. Low tooth fishing rod. I can uh, I, I could disenchant that. That would be a good thing to disenchant. This zombie is mad. It's so crazy for some reason. It's just slowly making its way over to me. I don't get how zombies don't drown underwater. They do. Oh, well, this one. They turn into drowns. Ah. Uh. Oh shit, creeper. Oh no, I don't know. Yeah. Completely fluffing up me fishing trip. Oh shit! Oh, I killed that creeper with my hand. I pulled him towards me and then he nearly blew me up. Oh man, that weren't very good, were it? I swear, everything is picking a fight with me while I'm fishing. It's so frustrating. Yeah. I love the XP. Same with you down here. I have XP. Oh, 
Ooh, what's this bow? That is actually a pretty decent bow, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I don't like these shells. Another bow. Mending and unbreaking. You know what? I wish that when you disenchanted an item, you got the, like, enchantment book back. Is that such a good... You actually might be able to. I've just realised. There's two things, isn't there? There's, like, two slots on the disenchanter thing. Yeah. I wonder what that does. Yeah, I don't know what it does either. Maybe if you put like a book in there, it puts the thing you disenchant, it puts it on the book instead. Maybe. I might try that. I don't think it'll work, but I'm going to try it anyway. It's worth a shot, isn't it? Mm hmm. Gotten three enchantment books so far. Four now. Law two enchantment book. You know what? I might disenchant that. Cause law two I don't need. Cause I've already got a law three fishing rod that's uh like cannot be broken. So Dylan's just come in my room and told me he's going to start a raid at the Sandstone Village if me and you want to take part. I told How him I don't do think that? it'll work. Well, he said he's already got that curse thing, hasn't he? So he said he's going to yeah, go over work. there and start no a raid. Villages, That's right, I've just told him, but he said he's going to try it anyway. I hope it works. Hmm. I hope it does, but I don't think it will. Hmm. Uh, he stood next to me now. Dude, he's just pushed me. Into my pond. I'm gonna slay him out one day. Yeah, he's got a bad omen and he's, he's in the village now. Alright. Okay. Wire wrapped around my hand and it pulled it out when I moved my hand, so. That sucks. Yeah, I reckon I'll be having a. Another visit from him in a couple of minutes. If it works. Why is he waving at me? Oh, he wants me to follow him. 
What? Oh, he wants me to go to the... Ikela and is going to the other village. You know where we had our first ever raid on this world? Oh, yeah. He's taking me there. Okay, guys. So, instead of fishing for the next ten minutes, it looks like we're going to have a raid instead. If you guys want to uh, stay tuned for that. Um... So, yeah, I'm, um, <laughs> oh, it's going to be horrible if I die, though. I'm full of enchanted stuff. I've got, like, my, half, my half my inventory is enchanted. Yeah, I've made the uh, XP farm, by the way. Oh, right, nice. Give me the coordinates, and then I'll uh, I'll go there, maybe next episode or something, or off camera, I've, and I'll just do loads I've of stuff. Al there. I've already started walking to the village. I'll take you there oh, later. Right. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, started the raid here in this village. Which is good, we've got a chance of getting another Totem of Undying. I hope I get the Totem of Undying, that'll put me on two, while you're on three. If Dylan gets his first one, then there's no doubt he's going to attempt to kill us. Right, because if I know Dylan, he's most likely going to try and like slay us out one day. And I'm not sure if it's going to be today. Might not even be at all this week, but he's definitely going to try and slay us out at some point this season. I don't think he's going to succeed, but... No, he won't succeed. I've got thorns as well. Yeah. I think I might have a thorns enchantment book. In fact, no, I think I have thorns on my diamond chest plate, actually. I'm just waiting to get mending on it. Where's Dylan gone? Where, where did he go? He's just led me to this village and vanished. What? Wait, has it actually started? No. No, a raid oh. hasn't started. But Dylan in here, I don't know where he's gone. He's like completely abandoned me. I might just come back then. I might just come back home. I'm here now, so... Alright. Oh, you better be starting it. Let me know if you see him, because I think he's just... I think he's just dicking about at this point. He might have just completely like, up and left. As soon as we entered the village, it's as if Dylan left the game. I have no idea where he's gone. Yeah, I okay. can't see him. Yeah. That's a shame. I was looking forward to doing a raid. Alright, I'm going to head back to my basin. Let me know if a raid started anywhere. Mm -hmm. And then I'll head back over. I'm just going to empty my inventory and then I'll find Dylan. now oh I found him have you has he started a raid no no he's just running through the he did go to the uh, end of portal village idiot why has he gone all the way over there He's still got his bad omen. Yeah. I think 
think I can hear him shouting. He must be raging at something. Ah, he's actually just walking normal. Hmm. Well, I can hear him shouting at something. I need, I need more ender chests. Look at my enchantment books, guys. I've got loads now. I'm not going to sort them out now. Sort them out later on. That room. This room I need to destroy. So I don't need that room. Right. Okay, guys, so perhaps you're not going to get to see a raid. I do apologise, but I thought Dylan were going to start one because, uh, well, he told me we were going to start one, and then he didn't. Uh, I'm coming to the end of Portal Village now, if this door will open. The end of Portal Village? Why are you doing that? That's because you said Dylan were there. No, he was, but... No, I was just... I meant he was in that forest between the two villages, oh my God. but he came from that village. Now he's coming out. Why? I don't know. For fuck's sake. I, d I don't think he knows how to, p how to start a raid, does he? I don't think he knows how to play his game. Pretty self-explanatory. Mm-hmm. Walking to a village. Yeah, I don't think he knows how to play Minecraft. I thought he'd be alright by himself, but clearly fucking no. Is he sure it's a bad omen that he has on him? Um, um, so, what happened? Yeah, it's definitely a bad omen. What happened to starting a raid? Why is he, Why is he killing you? us? Fucking twat! I'm slaying him out. I don't even I care. Think okay. He ain't, even, he ain't got none of his best stuff on him. There's a baby zombie behind you. Baby horse. Right. Now I can try typing to him. So what happened to... Starting... The... Raid. Can't believe he tried to kill us both there. Is he actually thick? I believe he actually tried to kill us both. Is he not, I don't think he's gonna come back for his stuff either. What did he what did he have on him? What did you pick up off of him? Just pork chops. Yeah. And an axe. He had an iron sword, iron leggings, a stone pickaxe and a lever as well. I don't know why I ain't coming back for any of his stuff, but it'd be right. I didn't try to kill you both, I hit you with my fist into a cactus. That weren't his fist, he had a sword in his hand. Did you see a sword in, a sword in his hand? Because I could have sworn he had a sword. Keelan. Okay. Yeah, Keelan. Uh, you've either muted yourself or um, that PlayStation glitch has happened again. Alright, um, who the fuck's. Where is it? Fucking hell. Fucking baby zombie. OP as hell. Oh, there's pillagers. Do you want to start our own pillager raid instead of following Dylan about? I've got a bad omen. I'm going to have a bad omen in a sec. Yes, I've got a bad omen. Alright, do you want to go to a village? Start our own pillager raid? Instead of listening to that idiot? Yep, let's go. Oh no, I'm out of food. I've got four bread and then that's it. 
I'm gonna go back and grab some food actually. Food chest and my food chest won't open. Brilliant, absolutely fucking fantastic. Right, I'm taking 64 bread with me. Okay. Um. You know what? The pillager raid will be next episode, guys. So, um. If you enjoyed this episode, then leave a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment if you really want to as well. Um, and I'll see you guys in episode 14. Goodbye for now.